of the Step School Chef. If you saw my last video, you'll know I'm trying to show kids the complete process it takes to prepare a meal. Step one was to plan and prepare. So I found two really great recipes. One is from the Master Chef Junior Cookbook, and the other one I found online. And the second step was to go shopping. So I went to Whole Foods and got all the ingredients I didn't already have. And now it's time for step three, which is to cook. So when you're cooking a meal and you have multiple dishes, you should probably start with the one you have that takes the longest. In my case, that's the Parmesan mashed potatoes. So let's get started. All right, so I'm making them, my mashed potatoes. Uh, step one was to peel and cut them and then to cook them for about 15 to 20 minutes. And I have done that and now it's, it's time to mash it. This is fun. Okay, so step two is to warm the cream and butter. And then we're going to uh, pour the uh, cream and butter mixture into the mashed potato. Okay, so I transferred my mashed potatoes into a saucepan so I can have it simmer while I'm cooking my other ingredients. Uh, one trick is to push it back, uh, the things that you're simmering, so that all the uh, food you're cooking goes over here, right in front. So I'm going to clean up my mess before I start with scallops. I have this rule called ABCs, always be cleaning. So it means clean as you go because you never want to end up with a big mess. So now I'm moving on to my scallops. I found this great recipe on cafedelights.com. So I'm going to put the scallops on the uh, pan. There's nothing more to say, right? Scallops. Isn't scallops so fun to say? Scallops, 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 scallops. Well, as I just learned, the recipe calls for lemon juice, but it never tells you to juice the lemons, so I should have probably anticipated that and juice the lemons beforehand, but uh, nothing we can do, so we're just gonna juice the lemons real quick. Real quick, right now. <laughs> so my mashed potatoes are still over here simmering, so I'm just gonna stir it so it keeps up with that smooth consistency. up with my sauteed spinach which is a recipe my dad makes all the time and it's super easy it takes like 30 seconds we're cooking it 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 sauteed spinach well this is my finished dinner thank you everybody for watching happy cooking bye